What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you my Lego workspace. As you can see, these cabinets, I got most of them from Amazon. They cost me like £17 each, and that's $22 US dollars. And for these boxes at the bottom, I got them from Ikea or Ikea. They come in different sizes. And let's get started. For the smaller parts, I store them in these drawers, each labelled with its element number. For now, the sequence goes like this. We've got bricks, then plates, then tiles. Then I've got these larger drawers to store the ones of a higher quantity, like these 1x2 plates and 1x6 plates. Then we have these snot bricks, the headlight piece. By the way, snot is short for stuck snot on top, in case you don't know. And then we have brackets. Here's the 1x2 one, that's pointing down. We've got inverted ones as well. Jumper plates. That's the 1x2 one. And some panels. Some more panels and yeah up here are the slopes here are the two slopes two by four slopes taller slopes two by two inverted slopes and suddenly it goes back to 2x4 plates because I've got a whole tray. More inverted slopes. That's the 1 by oh sorry, 2x1. Wedges. I separated the left and right one. Wedge slopes. After that we have curved slopes. Here's the 2x1, 3x1, some other ones, six by one, more curved slopes, but this time it's inverted. Then it goes to arches. Then we've got round bricks, plates, and tiles down there. Then we've got cones, one by one. Dishes, that's four by four. Then it jumps to decorative pieces. Here's the 1x2 brick with the brick pattern. Round pillars. Some fences. Windows. I do keep the new ones in plastic bags so they don't get scratched. And then we've got anything that have to do with clips, handles or bars or that stuff. We've got more clips, and here's the piece that I don't know what it's called. More arms and handles, here's the 1x2 one, one. And then we've got some bars, here's the one that's 3 studs long. lightsaber help for the Star Wars fans and then we've got some road signs which I do not have some rails 1x2 door rail and chains oh I absolutely love the sound they make then it transitions to hinges we've got hinge bricks 
one by two and plates clicking ones these cylinder hinges I'm too lazy to take them apart then we've got these hinge plates we've got some big balls suck it I meant socket yeah ball socket that's what I meant and some small balls then it goes into vehicle related stuff we've got mud guards here and then some wheel holders pins that connect to wheels all that kind of thing up here we've got more vehicle stuff brackets vehicle brackets some wedges lots of different kinds of wheels some bigger wheels oh I forgot to remove the piece attached brake separators who even used those just use your fingers man large panels and back to vehicle stuff we've got car doors left and right steering wheels lever ladders propeller blades and different sizes here's a small one we've got some shooting kind of things here's the trigger and here comes the Technic stuff we have a lot here's the 1x2 brick with a Technic hole in it some more bricks with pins attached I'm not going to take them out one by one and here's the 2x6 plate with holes some more plates with holes here's one with a hole on the bottom Technic beams or bars or lift arm whatever you call it all different kinds here's the fence one with an L shape we've got the thin ones as well Technic beams longer ones 1 by 13 that's why you don't have to count the holes every time longer Technic bricks 1 by 14 this one and we have pins here's the black friction pin we'll use them everywhere and we've got some long pins and other pins and axle pins half pin half axle other variations and then we've got axle this one is 10 studs long more axles bushes the PPPs it comes in all different colors and sizes I always take the black one we've got other kinds of pin connectors and axle connectors as well here's the squishy one made of rubber and then we've got other connectors hubs axle hubs pin hubs we've also got these kind of angled pin hubs sorry that was my little sister here are the common bricks that I have a lot of here's 1x2, 1x3 etc 1x8 oh it's nearly full some plates as well I use this little cardboard to make compartments and back to Technic stuff here are gears of different sizes 
Here's the smallest one. Got gear boxes as well. There's a pulley or wheel. We've got some gear racks and balls. I like balls. Some engines and related parts. Some Technic blades. Oh, well, I'm on to the last one. Springs and rubber bands, and that's the end of Technic. We are on to containers. We've got treasure chests, boxes, and barrels. And now we've got animal stuff claws or teeth. Horns, some tails, some wings. Oh, that's large. And we came down to the last 40. Here are all the nature related stuff. Flowers, we've got five petals. The old ones only have four. Then we've got flower stems, larger flowers, leaves, four by three, bamboo leaves. Grass, I haven't touched them for years. An apple. I don't know why there's an apple here. Other fruits and flame. They come in different shapes. Some crystals. Here's the last one. It's the gold nugget. And there you go. That's all 720 drawers. Then we move on to these boxes. We've got 2x2 two two on 2x4 two bricks some other large pieces I can't be bothered to take out by the way huge shout out to Brick Architect for the free labels they have like all the common parts and I only have to make one or two myself link in description here's what I call the overflow area to hold the pieces that I have too much of I couldn't fit into one drawer. I've got loads of these 1x2 glass panels. Don't mind my OCD kicking in. I've got a little sticker on the drawer to indicate that I saw them separately. Here are the IKEA boxes where I store all the large pieces. Here's the 1x bricks. Actually, 1 by 10, 1 by 12, and 1 by 16. 2 by bricks, some large plates. I can't take it out with one hand. 4 by plates, the largest plates, and some Technic panels and frames. Oh, I'm struggling again. I've only got one hand. Some angled pieces and slopes. Some curved ones, which I'm not going to take out apparently. And for the large pieces, that couldn't fit in the drawers, there they are. I'm never going to use them anyway. And we've got the large wheels. Last but not least, is this little cabinet that I tucked in random stuff, including some recently introduced pieces. There's the 1x6 tile, some brackets. Well, they're not that new. It's just I couldn't find a way to sort them back into my existing cabinets. There's some train magnets. I don't know where to put them. So I just put them here. Oh, I can't put them back in. Oh yeah, I've got some broken limbs that I stored temporarily. Until I put them back together as a minifigure. But I highly doubt that will ever happen. Oh, I nearly forgot about these boxes. This box contains pieces that I'll never ever use in my build so let's take that away. Here are boxes with compartments 
I use them to store minifigure accessories. They are arrows, knives, katanas, spears, shoots, all that kind of stuff. And we move on to helmets, armor, vests, backpacks, and stuff. And then we've got crowbar, handcuffs, brushes, and the last one we have utensils. Some food, here's a baguette for you, a coup poppy, I eat I, I, I love them, bones and some other animals. And finally we have minifigures stored in medicine boxes, because why not? And that's it. For these builds on my desk, they will appear in a future break film. Stay tuned. Comment if you found the mini pecker in the video and subscribe. Peace.